spring 2023 is going to go down as one of the craziest anime seasons of all time. With series like Demon Slayer, Oshinoko, Hell's Paradise, and Konosuba all airing around the same time, it's going to be really hard for any series in particular to stand out. Is what I'd say if it weren't for the fact that episode 1 of Skip and Loafer dropped yesterday and it slapped harder than Will Smith at the Oscars. I really didn't want to use that metaphor, I just couldn't think of anything else. Bringing up the Oscar slap is just normie cringe. Skip and Loafer is a seinen slice of life manga written by Misaki Takamatsu and it's published in Monthly Afternoon Magazine. In late 2021, it was announced that Skip and Loafer was going to receive a television anime, TV anime for short, and it was later revealed that it was going to be PA Works Studio that was going to work on it. I looked it up, PA Works doesn't stand for Pennsylvania Works. What does it stand for? Progressive Animation Works. I'm just glad it isn't Physical Assault Works. If you don't know PA Works, they've worked on quite a few beloved animation series. Off the top of my head, there's Akiba Maid Wars, Buddy Daddies, and Angel Beats. And for recent series, I know Akiba Maid Wars and Buddy Daddies made some pretty big waves in the industry. I watched a few episodes of Akiba Maid Wars, and I don't think there's anything I can say in a YouTube video that could encapsulate how wild of an experience that series is. But I shouldn't get too sidetracked because we're here for Skip and Loafer today. Now I'm going to keep it real with you guys. I am a massive Skip and Loafer fan. It is one of my all-time favorite mangas, and it's still airing. I may complain about every time my favorite battle shonen mangaka take a week off to focus on their physical health, because God forbid they need to work on their deteriorating health conditions, but I wait month after agonizing month for new Skip and Loafer chapters, and it, God damn it, it's worth it. I would even go as far as to say the Skip and Loafer manga is a solid 10 out of 10 so far. There's not a single chapter I've read where I find myself getting bored by the exposition or I'm not completely invested in every single character. I've never seen a manga series tackle interpersonal relationships and teenage angst in such a mature yet realistic way, but we're not really here to talk about the manga, we're here to talk about episode 1 of the Skip and Loafer anime. The first thing I wanted to talk about is how the anime holds up in comparison to the manga. In specific, I want to talk about the character design first. I love how the character design stays loyal to the manga manga's incredibly unique and charming style. I'm not usually one to care all that much about the staff that's working on an anime series aside from the soundtrack, which I know is kind of weird to say as an anti-tuber, but it looks like the uh, character design was handled by Umeshita Manami, and I gotta say, my hat's off to you. Aside from the character design, though, I also think another standout point for this anime adaptation is the coloring. The bright and vivid colors are incredibly beautiful, and they help emphasize the incredibly comfy vibes this anime gives off. Now, the last and probably biggest W that I noticed from the Skip and Loafer anime yesterday when I watched it was the voice cast. Iwakuro Mitsumi, the main character of Skip and Loafer, is voiced by Kurosawa Tomoyo, who is also known for voicing Rebecca from Cyberpunk Edgerunners, and more notably, Kumiko from Sound Euphonia. I saw a lot of people online saying she's great in other things as well, and it's good to see her have some more lead roles. And I completely agree with all the Kurosawa Tomoyo praise because she is absolutely fantastic in Skip and Low for episode one. Her incredible voice acting range is used perfectly to help emphasize Mitsumi's sillier moments. <laughs> The rest of the voice cast did a fantastic job as well. It was just Kurosawa's incredible performance that I think was the biggest standout point of this episode. The last big thing I really wanted to talk about about the Skip and Loafer anime adaptation was the animation itself. I know a lot of slice of life anime don't tend to put too much stock into how good the animation is, but I'm glad to see that the Skip and Loafer anime didn't skimp out on this. There aren't going to be any big fight scenes with flashy animation or anything, but where the animation studio really popped off is in the anime opening itself with that fun, cute little dance sequence between Shima and Mitsumi, but I think that if the animation studio is willing to go this hard on animating a beautiful anime opening for a slice of life series like Skip and Loafer, you can really tell the care and love that's being put into this adaptation. After watching the first episode yesterday, I was really curious to see what people were saying online about it, were people liking it as much as I loved it, and it seems like overall, at least when I checked on r slash anime, a lot of people are seeming to like it. I saw a lot of people saying things like, this looks promising, I'm gonna keep my eye on it, and I'm just like, does he know? Because this is going to be one of the most standout anime series of the spring 2023 season. And I say that knowing that Demon Slayer, Oshinoko, Hell's Paradise, and Konosuba are all going to be airing at the exact same time. If you haven't watched Skip and Loafer yet, I highly recommend you pull up Crunchyroll after this video ends and watch the first episode, because I seriously think we have a contender for anime of the year here. I know that kind of sounds like a bold claim, seeing as we're only just past the first quarter of the new year, and there are still a lot of other awesome anime series to come out this year, but I think a lot of people don't seem to realize how 
special of a series Skip and Loafer is. And I'm really hoping this anime adaptation will start getting the manga more of the recognition that it deserves. But for those of you who have watched it already and need something new to watch right now, why don't you check out my review of the Kaguya-sama anime that's about to appear on your screen right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you like this kind of content, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye now.